Hello, my dear students. Welcome again. This is Miss May Badr, your English teacher. We will continue studying Connect Four. Today, we are going to study Unit Two, Lesson Five. Please make sure that you bring your books to all your sessions. You should also bring some papers and a pen. That's all you need to enjoy our lessons together. So let's have fun today. We are going to learn about interesting animals. Today, we are going to talk about an animal called the rim gazelle. Rim gazelle. إيه الريم غزال ده؟ ده الغزال نوع من أنواع الغزال. النهاردة كمان هنتعلم إزاي نعمل K W L chart علشان نعرف information عن الريم غزال طيب يعني ايه K W L chart K stands for no what do you know about the animal طيب W what I want to know about the animal ودي هتكون ال questions اللي موجودة في راسي اللي بحاول اعرف اجابتها يعني what دي هتكون related لل questions اللي انا هسألها عن الحيوان ده هحاول ان انا ادور على اجابه للاسئله بتاعتي فهعمل ال اللي هو what i learned about the animal ودلوقتي هنروح للسمارت بورد بتاعتنا ونقرا عن الريم جزال now look at this picture now look at this picture this is the animal that we are going to talk about this is the rim gazelle can you think of what you already know about it? I will give you five seconds. Very good. They have beautiful long horns. يعني إيه horns؟ لو بصيت على راسه هنا هلاقي ال horns اللي على راس الريم جزال. Please think of something you want to know about the rim gazelle. You have five seconds. Well done. Where do they live? Are they friendly? How big are they? We can write the answers in the table, the KWL table that we talked about before. Now, open your books, please. Page 38. Let's read together the text and answer the true or false questions. I want to read the comprehension with you. Rim gazelle. Rim gazelles look very beautiful. They live in the Sahara Desert and they walk around looking for grass, leaves and plants to eat. They have big ears and long horns. They have yellow white coats which protect them from the sun. They have hooves on their feet. These hooves help them walk on the sand. Like camels, they don't need to drink a lot of water. إحنا هنا بنتكلم عن الغزال وبنقول في الأول إن هو شكله حلو قوي. بعدين بنقول إن هو بيعيش في Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert دي موجودة في Africa where it's really hot and dry. They walk around looking for grass, leaves and plants. يعني بيأكل الحشائش وبيأكل الزرع. They have big ear, ears and long horns. زي ما احنا قلنا لو بصينا على راسه هنلاقي ال two horns بتاعت الريم جزال. They have yellow white coats which protect them from the sun. يعني الجلد بتاعه بيحميه من أشعة الشمس زي ما احنا قلنا هو عايش في صحراء very hot and very dry. They have hooves. طبعا ال animals مش زينا. احنا عندنا رجلين لكن هم عندهم hooves زي ال horses. عندهم hooves عشان يقدروا يتحركوا بسهولة. These hooves help them walk on the sand. Like camels, they don't need to drink a lot of water. عشان هم عايشين في الصحراء 
زي الكاملز برضو مش بيشربوا مية كتير زي الكامل طب let's look at the table and let's see the answers of the questions how long is ram gazelle's horn from 20 to 30 centimeter how heavy is a ram gazelle from 20 to 30 kilogram how long does it live about 14 years what color is its coat cream or yellow white now it's time to answer the true or false number one ram gazelles live near the sea اول حاجه اتعلمناها ان انا ما ينفعش يكون عندي comprehension وانا مش عارف الاجابه انا لازم ارجع تاني للcomprehension بتاعتي وادور على الاجابه بتاعتي number one معمولة اصلا false لان طبعا ريم جازالز live in the Sahara Desert number two ريم جازالز eat plants and leaves هنا الكي وورد بتاعتي eat يبقى انا هرجع تاني للباسج بتاعتي اشوف فين كلمة eat واشوف الكلام ده صح ولا لا so ريم جازالز eat plants and leaves of course it's true تعالوا نكتب الاجابة مع بعض So, T. Number three. Rim gazelles have short horns. تعالوا نرجع تاني ونشوف كلمة horns موجودة فين ونشوف الإجابة دي صح ولا غلط. طبعا إحنا قلنا هنا they have big ears and long horns. يبقى لما أجي أقول لك rim gazelles have short horns طبعا false. Number four. Rim gazelles have dark colored coats. يبقى الكي وورد بتاعتي هنا coats. I have to go back to the passage and find the word coats and find out if the answer is correct or incorrect. Rim gazelles have dark colored coats. لو رجعنا تاني هنلاقي في الباسج بيقول لي they have yellow white coats. So of course number four is false. Number five and the last one. Rim gazelles live for about 14 years. هنا أنا حرجع للتيبل بتاعي. Rim gazelles live for about 14 years. Yes, it's true. So I will write T. Number two. Think about an animal you like. Look at the chart and find out. يبقى to write a fact file about an animal, you have to look at the chart and find out the information. Now, if you don't have an access to the internet, or reference books, you can choose an animal that you already know about and write about it. إحنا تعلمنا عن animals كتير قوي السنة دي. Fennec fox, step eagle, uh, a ram gazelle. So you can write about an animal that you already know. Right. Now we will open page 39. But before we open the page, I need to clean up my board first. I will get page 39, so please get ready. Here is page 39. ده ال K W L اللي اتكلمنا عليه قبل كده. وقلنا K معناها what do I know? W the questions in my mind what I want to know about the animal and L what I learned about the animal. ولو ما عنديش انترنت او ما عنديش كتب بتتكلم عن الانيمال احنا السنه دي درسنا عن انيمالز كتيره قوي ممكن اكتب عن اي واحد فيهم This example is about dolphins Dolphins are not dangerous They are mammals not fish يعني ايه mammal يعني they give birth they don't lay eggs right. What I want to know about the dolphins You can add your own answer And then you write it down in the table. Think of questions in your mind about the dolphins. For example, are they friendly? Are they dangerous? What color are they? Uh, let's write one of the questions. What color are they? 
وكلمة color هنا ممكن أكتبها بال U وممكن أكتبها من غير U. What I learned about dolphins. For example, I can find the answer of my question, what color are they? So I will answer this part by saying dolphins are or they are black, white, and gray. Bekida, ana khalas a K W L chart tati. I am sure you will have lots of fun. Now let's go to exercise number four. Use the information from the chart and write about your animal. You are going to write your animal's file fact. Look at the fact file on page 26 to help you. Page 26, كنا بنتكلم فيها عن الفينيك فوكس. ممكن نرجع تاني للفينيك فوكس ونشوف إحنا كنا بنكتب إزاي الانيمال فاكت فايل هنا هنعمل انيمال فاكت فايل بنفس الطريقة زي ما اتكلمنا عن الريم جزال وزي ما اتكلمنا عن الفينيك فوكس وزي ما اتكلمنا قبل كده عن البالكن والبولر والبير هنتكلم هنا عن انيمال أي انيمال أنت هتختار طيب فينش اند تشيك وات ار وي جوينج تو دو هير You are going to find or draw picture for your fact file. يعني هتكتب هنا information عن الانيمال وهنا ممكن ترسم صورة عن الانيمال بتاعك. ما تنساش تقول لنا حاجات كتير عن الانيمال. Like for example, what do they eat? Where do they live? Uh, how big are they? And why are they special? Did you answer all the questions in exercise number two? هنرجع تاني الاكسرسايز تو في الكتاب ونشوف لو انت جاوبت على كل الاسئلة دي في الانيمال فاكت فايل اللي انت عملته. بعد ما هتخلص عايزة اقولك لما تروح الكلاس بتاعك اعمل برزنتيشن انت واصحابك عن الانيمالز فاكت فايل. Work with your, with your partner, show your fact file. Ask for their opinion. We are at Kuluku, this Alubad, and Rayoko, for presentation, El Amaltu, and the animals. This is my fact file. What do you think about this? So, El, El Hatis Alubad, Phil Class, where, inshallah, Kuluka Hatamelo, Ahla projects, or Ahla fact files. Next lesson, we will make a poster about unpopular animals. Kifaya Kalimna Ktir and the popular animals. زي الجيرافز، الهيبوز، الاليفنتس. It's time to talk about some unpopular animals. ونكست تايم ان شاء الله هنتكلم عن one of the unpopular animals. How to make a poster? Your poster should be colorful. So you need some colors to color your poster. Also, you need to make a research and find some information about the animals that you are going to talk about. هنعمل research, هنحاول ندور على information, وزي ما اتفقنا, لو ما عنديش internet ما فيش مشكلة, احنا ممكن ندور في كتب وندور في magazines, او في information اللي احنا خدناها قبل كده عن الحيوانات. ما تنساش ال KWL بتاعتك. Let's recap and revise what do we mean by KWL chart. K, what I already know about the animal. W, the questions in my mind about the animals. And learned what I learned after my research and after reading about this animal. If أنا المرة الجاية هعمل poster عن حيوان مش معروف. ومش هنتكلم تاني عن الحيوانات المعروفة كفاية عليهم كده وندور على الحيوانات اللي مش معروفة وأنا متأكدة أن أنتوا هتلاقوا information كتير قوي عن الحيوانات دي وحنلاقي كمان some interesting facts about these animals We are going to have loads of fun next time See you, bye bye